I suppose the first thing to say about this competition is um, that it has been very exciting, very much more productive than I thought it was going to be. We've had over 400 entries. Um, the five shortlisted ones that we've got are all in their own ways very interesting and detailed pieces of work. I think they all need more work and it'll be interesting to see which one of them emerges as the winner. Um, but I think for me what I've learned from this whole exercise is that really this is two issues, it's not one. The, the issue is first of all one of how do you split up a currency union and actually, and one of the papers goes into this in great detail, actually splitting up a currency union in itself is not difficult. You know, the reprinting of notes and coins, the redenomination of contracts, all those things are relatively straightforward and have been done many, many times before. The second issue, and in fact the far bigger issue, and the economic imperative that I believe ultimately will drive the euro to its destruction is the fact that any breakup will involve, at the same time, a massive devaluation of some of the currencies that come out of the euro. And so you've got countries like Spain, Portugal, Greece, Ireland, all of which have now become structurally uncompetitive. Greece's wages have risen by 30% against those of Germany. And the process of them coming out of the euro, whilst it will be enormously beneficial in some ways because it will make them competitive again, means that the people who have lent money to them, to those countries, ultimately will be looking at some form of limited default. And it is that order is making that process of default orderly, structured, done in such a way that it doesn't cause panic in the financial markets. That I think ultimately will be the key to winning this prize.